In 2012, a stopping power study was done comparing caliber versus percent incapacitated, and the 25 ACP was found to incapacitate 65% of the time, but the 22 long rifle did it almost 70% of the time. First thing to note is that this was a very small sample size, but it was the best a person could do in 2012. Second, 25 caliber is almost exclusively represented by the 25 ACP. The 22 long rifle and Winchester Mag and dozens of other varieties, including very large capacity cartridges firing really tiny bullets, are representative samples of all sorts of dimensions. But the 25 ACP is unique in that it is, seems to be an anemic and sometimes even hated cartridge. Now I wanted to point out another one of the cartridges. Now you may have noticed the Win Mag I have there but on purpose, it's the Magnum. And it has very different characteristics in many ways to a 22 long rifle, but you can make it a dual chambered gun that will fire it. You just have to put two chambers on it that are different, one on each end of the barrel and flip the thing. But anyway, this is the 5.5 Velodog, AKA the 22 caliber center fire, hand reloadable, and infinitely maintainable uh, 22 caliber, you could call it a little mini shotgun shell if you want to. And these were, until recently, very much available. But they weren't really catching on because room fire is more popular for this size, for some reason. Now, I'd like to point out that that is not a, a visually enhanced image. The majority of this case is to hold the bullet and propellant. The majority of this case is also given away a little bit at this point for it being the bullet for a 22 Magnum. The Velodog was originally created to be a shotgun shell or a rifle round or a pistol round for one purpose, a very old purpose, dealing with literally uh, roving packs of rabid and uh, stray dogs in France. That's literally what Velo Dog meant by cyclist, velocipede, and, and dog. So I'm going to be exploring it along with these other, but again, is the 25 ACP that bad or not? Now, th again, there's only one choice in it. It's the ACP, automatic coat pistol design. I'm going to give the history of this. And the 22 long rifle we're going to gloss over, and also the Velo Dog. But let's go. The revolver de pooch, or Velo Dog, velocipede, or bicyclist, dog gun. Rene Galland. He created a centerfire 22 caliber double action pocket revolver. Almost exactly what I'd like to have. It's for cyclists to stop rabid stray dog attacks in France. It used a 5.75 or 225 bullet in a 308 diameter rimmed or 308 rimmed uh, centerfire cartridge. That was 308 on the outside. It was a 30 caliber rim, so if you put this into a 30 caliber, it would fall through, but it gets stuck in a 25 caliber. Just saying. Anyway, it had 42 foot-pounds of force on firing in the 1900s, primarily because it used gunpowder rather than using smokeless powder and did not take advantage as much. For people who are more humane, you could load it up with cayenne pepper or something else to just annoy an animal, or just use a blank round, a hella loud one, with all that case space, that would be a lot as loud as firing a 22 Magnum today. Later it was, or people just decided to go ahead and rechamber it, to fire the more powerful, excuse me, to fire a 22 long rifle rim fire or 25 ACP center fire round, which may have been the same amount of pressure. Again, you'd have to look up the actual foot pound rating. And again, this was in spite of having smokeless powder and other things to be able to do to change the behavior of this. Anyway, 1937, Colonel Charles Adskins became the winning all-around pistol champion in 1937 with a gun he based on a Velo Dog pistol that he got a hold of while working as a Border Patrol person because some Frenchie came across from Mexico or somewhere else. So the NRA decided to amend their pistol rules to read, you couldn't use anything less than a 32 caliber if it's center fire because they wanted to get rid of this. But it was the Adskins.221, he created a pistol that fired this and a modified version of it to get better performance. Proving once again, the NRA is not about your rights or about innovation. It's about them maintaining a stranglehold on your canorholes. John Browning's designed a 25 caliber ACP automatic coat pistol in 1905 to have the same ballistics 
as a 22 long rifle while fired from a shorter barrel or short barrel pistol because the long rifle fired out of a pistol is a bad idea. He decided to duplicate this idea. But without the rim fire's reliability issues they had in those days because 22 rim fire is based on trying to get an even distribution of priming compound inside of a metal shell that you spin to get it to the outside edge so only that edge will do it. And if there are any spaces where it's not completely covering it, it won't fire. You know, perish the thought that they would have just used the center fire in the first freaking place or had multiple firing pins, which you can do in a 22. You can make it to where it hits three places around the rim, so you'll definitely get a fire. The 25 may fail to stop an attacker twice as often as all other higher pistol calibers, but this and others were used to make the neck down 22 like the ones above and the CCM Cooper Centerfire Magnum and Maynard Extra Longs that are basically 22 emulations that take advantage of being able to do these things. Yes, they would neck down a 25 caliber and make it a longer tube and make it into really a long bullet. Also, see also the 22 long bullet, not long rifle. That's a 22 caliber bullet that's just a really long casing. That was the other way, again, in the past. You could just make the, ca the cartridge longer or have more space to hold more propellant. Now, don't, under any conditions, try to use an inline muzzleloader capper as a 209 primer gun magazine to make a cap gun or ever use a 209 primer for the ass end of a hollowed out 22 caliber bullet so that you can make your own center fires because that would just be crazy talk. Or it might win you a championship if the NRA didn't make it against the rules still. It's still against the rules, by the way. Did you know that? So anyway, here we go. <clears throat> And yes, they, 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 they left that in so you couldn't do a 223. Or did they? You'd have to look up the rules. Anyway, the 25 ACP, 65% actual stopping power, 22, 22 long rifle, almost 70%. Rock on. The rest of them all have a failure rate of like 13%. Um, but I wonder if the Velodog with modern materials and modern primers or just a 209 primer jammed into the butt end would do better. We'll never know.